Well, the Nelson Atkins Museum is celebrating the grand opening of a brand new exhibit tonight. Take a look. This is Robert Morris's Glass Labyrinth. Morris is an internationally known artist who's from Kansas City. The labyrinth is an equilateral triangle. You see the view from there. It has one path that will lead you to the center, and then you can follow that same path to find your way back out. It's an exquisite form made out of this amazing new kind of glass that will um, involve reflectivity and kind of mirroring, but at the same time, a very pure path to the center and back out. And I think it's going to be a very rich experience. All right, so take a look here. This is a special sneak peek inside of the labyrinth. I was trying to navigate my way in while shooting video here. It can be a bit tricky, uh, but unlike a maze where there are a lot of different paths designed to lead you to dead ends to puzzle you, a labyrinth, again, has one very clear path, so you really won't ever get lost. Did you feel uh, claustrophobic in there? Not at all, because it's open. You know, it's glass. Yeah. And that actually has been a big question here. I posted a picture when I shot that story a couple days ago, and a lot of people asked, how is the museum going to keep this clean? It actually has a special coating on this glass that makes it resistant to etching and corrosion and stains. Even and it also, fingerprints? it also repels oil and dirt. Wow. So it's not going to, you know, mean you don't have to ever clean it. It's just that they won't have to clean it as often. As often. And the director presentation says they're going to spend this summer figuring out what kind of cleaning regimen they're going to have to put in, how often they'll have to go in and clean it. I need that type of glass at home for my little uh, toddlers. Little fingerprints everywhere, <laughs> yeah, spaghetti stains. Exactly.